Hey guys, so today's crystal act tip of the day is all about temperature. So crystal act behaves its best when it is in a environment of 70 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer. We do not recommend using crystal act if you're in an environment that is going to be 67 degrees or lower. So anything below 68 degrees, we just don't recommend using it. You're not gonna get the best results with the product at those temperatures. It's not gonna level as well as it needs to. It's going to decrease the drying time and you're just gonna have issues. So is do your best to get your temperatures in your work environment up around 70 degrees, but at least 68 degrees. And something to keep in mind is a lot of times our homes are set to go down to a lower temperature overnight. If your product is sitting in 60 degree temperature for 12 hours, the internal temperature of the product is going to go back down to that 60 degrees. And it can take a few hours for it to come back up to that ideal range. So you need to make sure to give your products time to warm up and then also that your workspace is at that ideal temperature as well. We also wanna make sure that Crystal Act products never freeze. So if you are in an environment where it's not temperature controlled or there's just any risk of the temperatures getting down close to freezing, you wanna bring your products inside to a temperature controlled area so that you don't risk any sort of freezing. The freezing can actually destroy the, the polymers, the chemicals in the Crystal Act, and there can be no coming back from that once the product has frozen. So just make sure you're bringing it inside and then if your temperatures are really hot and you're having issues, that could also be a factor. So super high temperatures can cause the product to dry very quickly and that can cause leveling issues. It can cause some streaking looks or some sheen differences. Uh, so the good thing is that if that is an issue and you think your temperatures, you just can't get them down closer to 70 degrees and you're having those issues, Chris Slack makes a product called Reducer Retarder. And the retarder part of that is that it slows the drying time for you. So it can give you that additional working time um, in your high temperature areas so that it's not drying too fast for you. So again, things to look for if you're having issues with orange peel um, or with streaking and leveling issues, it could be your temperature. You wanna keep it as close to 70 degrees as possible for the best results. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I will put a link to the reducer on the Crystal Act page in my bio.